Hello everybody. I hope you're well today. It's obvious the drama goes on. The people that go after each other call each other liars, attack each other's characters. Now it's, it's one thing to discern good and evil. But everybody makes mistakes. To take these mistakes and ram it down their throats, call them all sorts of names, discredit them, that's a, that's a way of silencing a voice. If you cannot argue the point that they're making with logic, and is it because you're angry, or is it because you're angry? Angry because it's destroying your reality. You just have no argument against what's being said that makes any sense. So you have to destroy the message, messenger that's giving the message. Been the way it's always been. The reason that uh, Yeshua, and Jesus, was crucified it wasn't because he committed any crimes, it's because of what he was saying. Because what he was saying was so contrary to what they wanted people to believe. And it made more sense than what they were pushing. They had to silence it. You see, in trying to silence people like this, in trying to silence people like this, you actually make their point stronger. You think you fool the people who've seen it. You try to kill all the witnesses, yet by sees the cruelty you place upon these people. Why are you killing all these people? Don't like what they say, huh? Who's worth killing at that point? How can you justify such things? Because you disagree with someone doesn't mean you have to destroy that person. That person may be wrong and may actually be a truthful person, an honest person, who has misled themselves. How can you bring them to truth by calling them names, by mocking them, by trying to make them look like fools? How can you bring them to truth by doing this? How can you bring a person to truth like that? Oh, um, there's a point of an irritation I would like to kind of I do not want people to keep telling me to on sub this person or on friend that person I choose my friends and I sub who I sub I have my reasons you may not agree with the person you may think that person's even an evil person even you may have arguments with that person I do not hate you, and I may actually sympathize with your argument. But I am not the judge of that person. It is not my job. If that person is misled, how can I lead that person to the truth? If I do not have any contact with that person at all. If he cannot hear my message, if we cannot converse. How can I do anything about it? You want me to join the hate club? Well, I will join the hate club against those who like to defame people's character. Attack them. Um, because they do not agree with them. If you cannot I make your arguments. If you have no argument that you can make, 
you have an argument to make sense, then make it. Just make it. I will accept your arguments. I accept disagreements. I may be wrong at times, and I may need correction. You too make mistakes, and sometimes you too may need correction. If it hurts, ask yourself why. Perhaps it's time to repent. I love you all, and I tire, I tire of the drama of people always slamming each other and attacking each other and telling me who I should friend and friend not friend. Or warning me about this guy's evil or that guy's evil. I have eyes. I can watch them and I can see. Peace be with you all, please. At times like this we need to pull together and put aside our differences. We need to pull together, put aside our differences for the good of all mankind. Whether you like it or not, whether you like me or not, whether you like the other guy or not, we're all part of it. Stop being the madness. Let's come to reason. Let's work together to solve these problems in a peaceful manner without harming one another in any way, if possible. But if I could save Caesar, I would try to. Please. Let love guide your actions. And what you're doing, an act of love, or an act of spite, pride, vengeance. Did someone say something on a comment section that you didn't like, so you had to attack their character? What's the matter? Let's be real, people. Grow up. You ain't got much time. I rambled on and I was a little upset. I'm sorry for that. I do love you all. I want you all to have good lives and happy lives. Try to think of something positive to do about the situation you're in. And God be with you.